Hello guys and welcome back to another Buildcraft tutorial. Today I will talk a little about gates, it's kind of a quick tip, how we can use it to control engines and uh, also quarry by checking inventory. So I've done a few gate builds before, uh, basically it was only about redstone signal to give uh, pulsars. I also had some setup where I had uh, north and west selection filtering dependent on the fluid yeah, amounts in the tanks. So I thought we can move along with some more useful and uh, smart methods to do this. Here I have two very similar comb combustion engine setups. In one of them I have water and fuel and in the other one I have only fuel, so no coolant. So we can start with one with coolant. Uh, we, okay, I have a few that have has been running. Uh, anyway, we'll set one up here anyway. So since I have water and fuel, we can make this run at all times. The only thing that we should care about is when the energy cell is full. It's not close to full now, but it might be in the future. Then we should turn things off. And when you work with gates, the first thing you should think about is basically, can I control this in some way? Do I want to control it? And is there a way? And it might be hard to know this in advance, what type of control you can do with gates. So the easiest thing is just to place one and then you'll find out. So if I place just a structure pipe right here and I place a basic gate next to it. Then we can cycle through all the conditions that we can look at. And as you can see, there are quite a few. So first we have engine temperature different temperatures, overheat and red, to check various states of it. And we can check how much fuel and water we have inside. Not by the basic, then we need to have a filter to check for perhaps fluid or fuel specifically. And we can check ten empty or full space for, we have items in inventory, I don't know if that's this one. Anyway. You can cycle through and then you can just look at what you can do and then you can decide how to do it. So but this one, as I said, we have water. Let's just flip that one and fill all of them with water and we should be good to go. Oh, not the pipe wire. Damn it. Place a new one. So what we want is to, to look at. See, we can even have a few more now when we're looking at the at the engine or, and the uh, and the pipe. So we can look. The one I'm looking for is called power requested. This means that we have the possibility to send power down the line. Then just emit a redstone signal, and that will just make it start. We had fuel in it already and now it's starting directly. So we can flip this one as well and fill all of them and the beauty begins. So they will be filled up and fuel will fill up and these will continuously output energy for as long as this one can be filled. So let's, what happens when it gets filled? Well, here I have a hardened energy cell with uh, maximum stored, where it's filled. Well, everything is turned off and once again, we now place it. Everything is turned off. They don't want any energy, so... Have an empty one or one with, <coughs> with, uh, with space inside things will start again, and they will start as soon as they have cooled down. So now they are running again. They need to cool down. When they are stopped, they need to cool down first. So this will start soon as well. 
Okay, but what if we don't have any water? Remember that we can actually look at the temperature. So if we don't have any water, then we might have a problem. So make then we can make sure that we never leave the blue state. Yeah, we will have some downtime, since every time it stops it will have to cool down and then start all over again. So it will be much lower output compared to this one, because this one will run continuously. But we don't have any water for some reason. Well, then we can use an iron gate. First we can check that we have the blue engine. It's the first state and if we leave the blue state and get to the next step, no risk of overheating, but well, it's enough for us to shut down and then begin all over again. So, and then we can go back to the power requested and output the redstone signal. And of course I've done this on all the engines. And now when we start everything, well, it works just as good as the last one. And when they reach, I don't remember the exact number, when they reach the green state, they will just shut down and cool down and then start all over again. So slower, but no need for water. And basically that's how you work with the gates regardless. Place them, see what you can do, and then you'll probably get a good idea of what you want to do. It's uh, actually the easiest to do it that way. So one final example. Um, different machines will give you different options. So this one, this uh, quarry, this will, you can turn it on and off. So here I have a, some uh, red pipe wire from this gate up here. And they are saying that if we have no red pipe signal, then run. And if we have a red pipe signal, turn it off. Very simple. And this one, when it's full, it will output a red pipe signal. So if we just do like this, actually we should do it like that so we can see it. As soon as we hit the last slot, see down here, it turned on. Perfect. So we can do like this and have one slot available for dirt. And let's see. So now it's okay to run. This one will... Will it output? Um, like that, yeah. So here I have a similar setup as I had in the second example. We have no water for some reason. So I have these set up as engine blue run, power requested run. But I also have a third condition saying that we also need a red pipe signal. And all these three are required for the engine to run. So if we flip this one. Ah, darn. Oh, I have them slightly the opposite. This is how it's supposed to be. Don't run, because this is just a basic gate. When we have a redstone signal, output a red pipe signal. Now this means stop. Red, 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 we have a pipe pipe signal, so we're not fulfilling the, all the three requirements for this engine to run. Turn it on again, everything will start, and we will start to produce power. And probably we need a pipe here, almost forgot that. I'll put into the uh, emerald pipe or the uh, uh, the wooden, like th this one. Power input pipe and then we have power input pipe. So now we can output energy from the energy cell into this one. But something is w wrong. We are filled, we have filled the chest. There's enough with one dirt. So we can remove this one and it will start again. And if, we play, if it's full again, we can stop it. And now we can also make sure that we place more red wire, because we have the pipe wire here saying that everything is filled. And 
Then we can set this to the control status. So we need a, let's see, a low signal to output energy. And let's just place a basic pipe saying that if we have a red pipe signal, emit a red signal. Is it like this? Sometimes you can get lost in the in the logic. So you turn off. Yep, things seem, seems to work well and fine. So let's remove that one again. Oh, like that. Everything is running. This one is running. You can see it's outputting energy. But it shouldn't be needed because this one should be turned off anyway. But in any way, this is how you can do it. And you can expand the red pipe wire to go to something else to perhaps call you and say that something is wrong, the quarry stopped. In any way, you use the same principle all the time. Look at what you can do and then work out some ingenious design to make it happen. If you have any questions or requests on these gates, some specific topic that you want me to cover with gates, then feel free to leave a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.